Hi, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to talk about getting serious with God or taking God seriously. The reality is that we are living in a culture that when it comes to spiritual things and the things of God, we try to play down on it. We try to like, why are you becoming too serious about this God thing? Why are you taking this God thing too serious? Like, you know, this is a new age, like a new dispensation, whatever. You don't have to be too serious about this God thing. You're becoming religious. And I'm like, no, you have to be serious about God if you know where you are and what you are facing. Scripture lets us know that we are not fighting against flesh and blood, but we are fighting against principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness. You are not fighting things that are on your level. That is why you need God to be able to combat these things. Even the trauma that came from your bloodline, they are not things that you can just play around or play with even the patterns that was in your family they are not things to just play with and think that because you are not a child of god it doesn't matter you don't have to take these things too seriously that those things don't matter at the end of the day that is why a lot of people get to suffer in their life so this is not to scare you but to tell you when you don't connect to your source it makes you vulnerable to attack and to being hurt and harmed. That is why if you call God your source, then you need to stay plugged in. Scripture says that we are branches and Jesus says he is divine. So the question I would ask is, how can a branch survive when it is cut off from the tree? The branch is the part of the tree that bears fruit. God desires that we bear fruit. God called us, God created us, God sent us into this world. But if we don't take him seriously, we just be like, the branch says to the tree, I don't need you. I can survive on my own. That is the life that is delineated from God, that has been separated from God. And that is the reason for all the messed up mindset that we have in this current society that we're living in. Because people are dissociated from God, they have been disconnected from God and the spiritual basis of just life itself. It's just like a phone that the battery is dying. It will start giving a notification that you need to get it connected to the source. And once you connect it, you see that it start going flowing well. But if you allow it to stay like that, some functionalities will start ceasing. Some things will stop working because the battery is trying to preserve itself. It's, it's in self-preservation mood, battery saver mood. So it starts preserving itself and stops some things from working on the background. You know about this very well, but check your life. When you are disconnected from your source, you keep running down. And you don't need to get to such a place before you get to realize. That is why I'm telling you today, become serious with God. And becoming serious with God is not about religiosity or becoming more frequent in church, but it's about your intimate fellowship with God because that is the only thing that can help you thrive. John 15, 5 says, Yes, I am the vine. You are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. That is what Jesus said. Apart from me, disconnected from me, detached from me, you can do nothing. It is with him that we can do all the things that he has called us to do. Paul Apostle said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, which is in lack, in abundance, all things, in all seasons. I can survive because of Christ. No matter what I'm going through, I can't do it without him. But with him, I have assurance that I'm not alone. No, that is where your assurance comes from that you are not walking alone. You are not walking in life alone. You have backup. When you are connected to God, you start bearing fruit. And he says, once you are disconnected, you will not bear much fruit. I give this analogy. A mango tree cannot be an apple fruit. An apple tree cannot be an orange fruit. You cannot be fruit of which you don't belong. If you are not connected to God, you can't be a God's fruit. And when I talk about God's fruit, it's not just about the fruit of the Holy Spirit, which is the basis, the love, joy, peace, self-control, and all those things. Once you don't see it, it's a sign of disconnection because that is the basis that you are disconnected. But after all these, in creativity and other things as a child of God, if you are connected here, then you are supposed to be creative. Your impact to your world, your influence to your world should be different because you are connected to the source that supplies you with the wisdom to actually outshine, to shine in the world, which scripture says, let your light so shine that men would see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. How can we ever shine the light when we are not connected? To the source. Ephesians 2 10 says, We have become his poetry, a recreated people that will fulfill the destiny he has given each of us, for we are joined to Jesus. 
the anointed one. Even before we were born, God planned in advance our destiny and the good works we would do to fulfill it. This is the reality. We all desire good things. We all desire for God to do his will in our life, but somehow our ambitions consume us. We feel like God's will is not in the line of us getting all we want. But we forget that if we align with God, all these things are additions. That is why scripture says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added. These are just additions. These are not the basic things. These are not like the all in all. These are things that will be added to you. If you really seek God and seek his kingdom and seek his presence, all other things are just addendums like these things are not hard for god to give you so if you're looking for money god says money is not a problem i can give you money right now i can make you rich right now but then that is not the core of why i called you here god giving you money is not a problem god making you rich is not a problem god making you have that contract or have that job is not a problem but how serious are you with him so that he can get you grounded? Because if you're not serious about him, you will not be grounded and you can allow the devil have you. You have a real enemy who is after your family, who is after your purpose, who is after your mission in life, who is after your vision, who is after you. And you think that this life is just about getting things, grabbing things and materialism, then you are missing the whole point. You have a real enemy who does not like you. Why does he not like you? Because God chose you. Why does he not like you? Because God God values you. That is why he's fighting you and fighting to make sure that you don't fulfill purpose. So if you get to know that you have a real enemy like this, how serious would you be with God? If you get to know that you have an enemy who is after you, how serious would you be with getting protected, getting connected, getting preserved? Would you keep yourself vulnerable knowing you have an enemy that can attack you at any time? And he's looking for opportunities to attack you. So you can say, I know what to do. I know the kind of man I want to marry. State out all your ambitions. I know the kind of woman I want to marry and all of these things. But you have a real enemy who can strategize good things. Because the enemy came to Christ and told him, I can give you all the kingdoms of this world. And he can. He wasn't lying. He said, I can give you. Just bow to me. And sometimes we allow good things to actually consume us. Because the idea of good things could mean maybe God approves of it because it's good. But because it's good does not mean it's a God thing. Every good gift, scripture says, is from the Father of light. But then the devil is dealt to pervert those good things and make sure that you can get the good thing but without God. Getting good things doesn't mean that you are walking in the will of God. So a lot of people can get good things but not in a good way and they feel like, it's justified. It does not justify the fact that you didn't get it the right way, the way God wants you to get it. And this is one thing you need to realize that the devil does not even bother if you get all the good things you want to get in life as long as you miss God, as long as you don't care about God, as long as you don't take God serious, as long as you don't really put yourself to get intimate with God. Give God your time, your life and everything. It can allow you get everything you want to get. He won't even try to mess with you because you're actually walking in line with what he wants to do in your life. And at the end of the day, he knows when to strike. And that is why you can see people like, this is not to smear at anybody or to, you know, frighten you, but it's to tell you, you need to get serious with God. Because a lot of people can get rich and get all the things they want. At the end of the day, something will just strike their family and all their riches can save the situation. All that they have cannot save the situation. But had it been they were connected to the source, which means there would have been a perimeter of protection around them. And before the harm would come, God is there to spot it, to destroy it, to make it come to nothing. This is for you to know. I'm not going to be unserious about God again. If you've been unserious about God, it is time to say, God, I'm going to be serious with you. I'm going to take you serious from right now. Because God is intentional about us. And I always do think if God is that intentional about us that he makes everything good or bad, works together for our good, how intentional should we be towards him? How serious should we take him? Should we just take him like, you know, when you want to go to him, you go to him. When you need something from him, you go to him. Would you love that? What a toxic relationship that somebody only comes to you when they need something. Even you will like, will be angry, but God is not because he's merciful. But then, should you take advantage of his mercy? It is high time for you to get serious with God. And know that this is something that is for your good. Being serious with God is not for a show-off. It is for your own good. It is 
to fulfill purpose. Because to walk in purpose, you can't walk in purpose alone. You can't make the right decisions alone. You don't have that capacity. Only God can help you get there. And I hope that this video will inspire you and help you along the way in this work that you're taking with God. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And let me know what you think about this video in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. I have a lot of videos in this channel about purpose and, you know, destiny helper and all of those things. Check out the next video. And I believe it's going to be helpful to you. Thank you and God bless. Bye-bye.